A blonde, pretty woman practices in the mirror how to say yes to her boyfriend when he proposes. She repeats it in different ways, with different facial expressions and her sister finds it funny. Her name's Ava and she's a control freak. Ava enjoys having everything under her control. She organizes every single detail of her life, including her boyfriend's surprise proposal. She tells her sister, Bonnie, that she has the feeling that Brett, the boyfriend, was getting ready to propose. For that reason, she decided to make reservations in the most popular restaurant in town and hire a cameraman to film the moment so they will have it recorded forever. Ava is such a controlling person that she wrote down exactly how she wants the proposal to go. She wants to start the dinner with cocktails and appetizers. She knows that, like always, Brett is going to order the steak and potatoes, but she's not going to let him because it doesn't fit with her plans. After dinner, they are going to take their wine and go to the patio that overlooks the city, then, and only then, Brett is allowed to propose. Bonnie thinks her sister is way too controlling and needs to relax a bit and let things be spontaneous, but spontaneity is Ava's biggest pet peeve. She's afraid that if she doesn't plan things, they won't work out. Brett has no idea of what she's planning, of course, but he falls into her plans anyway. He's a young lawyer, handsome and stocky, and he has known Ava since high school. They used to date when they were at school, but during prom, Brett took another girl with him, and Ava broke up with him. Years later, they met again and rekindled their relationship. Three years later, they are ready to get married, or at least that's what they think. Dinner is great, despite Ava ordering something Brett didn't want for him. When she notices the ring on his jacket, she quickly insists she wants to go to the patio, and Brett agrees. The view is beautiful, and the perfect place for a proposal. Ava is ready. Brett gets on his knees and starts his proposal speech. Out of nowhere, a cameraman starts recording them. Brett finds it weird, but knowing Ava, he goes with the flow and gives her a huge diamond ring. She happily says yes, pretending not to know that he was going to propose the whole evening. Days go by after the proposal and Ava is already preparing for the wedding. She has a folder to organize her ideas, and the only time she asks Brett for his opinion is when she's trying to make him change his mind about something. He wanted to get married at the beach, but she prefers the park. He wants to go on a honeymoon to the mountains, she prefers a romantic resort. In the end, they do what she wants to do, no matter if Brett likes it or not. Brett doesn't seem to mind, he only wants Ava to be happy. He knows she needs to prepare and organize everything, and it wouldn't be different at their wedding. So he lets her do her thing without complaints. Ava goes to her dress fitting with Bonnie, and she's really happy when she tries on the dress she chose three years ago and it fits. Bonnie is shocked that Ava booked a dress when she didn't even know she was going to get married. Ava nonchalantly explains that the moment she started dating Brett again, she knew they were going to get married eventually, so she preferred to get ready in advance. Not only that, but Ava has their entire life planned. She wants to work at her interior design firm for 45 years, then she is going to move to hotel design. She also has Brett's future all planned out and he has no idea, or that's what she thought. While trying on the dress, Brett suddenly arrives at the store. He has a serious look on his face and seems nervous about something. When an upset Ava asks what he's doing there, he replies that he isn't sure about the wedding anymore. Ava is completely shocked. The ground disappears under her feet, and she didn't know what to do because she never planned for that kind of situation. Brett tries to explain why he's doing that, but she's so angry and upset that she doesn't let him speak. He tells him to leave, and he begrudgingly does. Ava is destroyed. She loved Brett and she was sure that they were going to be together for the rest of their lives. For her, what they had was fate. His dropping her like that after proposing, while she's in her wedding dress, is humiliating and embarrassing. She has to cancel the wedding and tell everyone she was dumped by him. She can't say why because she didn't give him the chance to explain, so everyone thinks it's her fault. Weeks go by after their breakup and Ava is depressed. Her house is dark and a mess when Bonnie visits her to see how she's doing. Bonnie thinks Ava has to get out and start living her life again. But Ava is stubborn. Her main issue is that she didn't give Brett the chance to explain his reasoning, so she doesn't know why he broke up with her so suddenly. She even made a chart with all the issues she had with Brett, but she couldn't find a single reason for a breakup. In her mind, they got along great. Her sister tells her that maybe there's something she isn't seeing, and maybe her controlling personality was the main issue for Brett. The only thing she can do now moves on, and Bonnie has a perfect idea. They are going to use the non-refundable trip to the romantic resort they booked and take a few days for themselves. Ava isn't excited about it at first, because she doesn't want to go to a place filled with happily married couples, but Bonnie decides to go with her. The plan is for her to let go of Brett and relax a bit, forget about her issues, and have fun. The resort is a five-star hotel that has everything couples in love might want. The sisters stay at the presidential suite that Ava booked years back, and it's a lovely place. Bonnie is excited about it, but Ava is still feeling sad and down. To make things worse, all the activities in the resort are couple-related, so everywhere she looks, there's a couple. The following morning, Bonnie insists Ava dresses up and goes to the pool with her. They drink and talk about the people, but Ava is upset because men keep trying to ask her out. Bonnie tells her that she should try going out with one of them without any expectations, just to see what happens. Ava relents and the first man that appears, she accepts to have drinks with him. The problem is that the man isn't interested in her. 
he wants to sell a cabin on the island to her. When Ava finds out, she laughs out loud and goes back to her sister's side. She really is unlucky. A couple's trivia game starts at the pool, to know what the couple knows more about each other. While the questions are made, Ava realizes that she doesn't know a single answer concerning Brett. She doesn't know what he wanted to be as a kid, or the name of his first pet. Meanwhile, Bonnie, whose husband passed away a few years back, knows all the answers about her significant other. It's a punch in the gut to realize that she doesn't know much about Brett, despite knowing him for years. In fact, Bonnie knows some things about him that Ava didn't. It's upsetting. Bonnie subtly points out that their relationship wasn't perfect, and Ava defensively retorts that she wasn't the reason why they broke up. She refuses to believe that. She thinks all the fault lies with Brett and is stubborn enough not to hear what Bonnie is telling her. Ava is so in her head all the time that she can't see where her problems lie. She planned everything to make their life perfect and forgot to actually experience it. Later on, Ava goes on a walk on the beach while Bonnie grabs them drinks. She's still thinking about Brett and their relationship, trying to understand where things went wrong. A handsome man approaches her. He's tall, charming, and a bit shy. At first, Ava pretends she's French for him to go away. But he understands French and figures out she's faking right away. He tells her there's going to be a jet skiing trip later on and that the weather is great for the activity. Ava thinks he's asking her out and says yes. The man is handsome and he isn't an airhead. The man, Kyle, tells her that he owns the jet skiing company and that he's offering her a ride for a price. Ava gets really embarrassed and moves to go away, but Kyle, realizing his blunder, goes after her and asks her out. He explains that he's just nervous because she's beautiful and a little intimidating. Ava agrees to have dinner with him, just as Bonnie approaches them with their drinks. As soon as Kyle leaves after telling her the time for the date, Ava starts complaining about his clothing style and Bonnie jokingly tells her to wait before changing his wardrobe. Ava didn't learn anything from her breakup with Brett and still tries to control everything. Meanwhile, Brett is sad and lonely in his new bachelor's apartment. He watches the video of him proposing to Ava and wonders if he made a mistake breaking up the marriage like that. He still loves her, she's his first love, his high school sweetheart, and the woman that he thought would be his forever. The issue is that Ava can be a bit too much sometimes, with her planning ahead. He got suffocated when he found a list of her plans for their future and realized that he would never be able to do anything he wanted because she controls everything. Back to Ava, she's nervous about the date and doesn't know what to wear. It's been years since she went out on a first date, and she's anxious that she's going to say or do something wrong. It's out of her control, and it makes her crazy. Bonnie tries to calm her down and make her take it easy, but Ava can't. She starts preparing for the date, researching ways to act when on a first date, much to Bonnie's incredulity. Ava doesn't want to be herself, she's afraid that's the problem with her relationship with Brett, though she isn't willing to admit to it yet. With Kyle, she doesn't want to show all her cards right away, afraid that he's going to run for the mountains. While she decides what to wear, Brett is in a park, eating his problems away. When he sees a girl he thinks it's Ava. He runs after the girl, scaring her, and is disappointed when he finds out it isn't her. He's now regretting the way he did things, and desperately wants her back. Ava arrives early at the restaurant. Kyle is a minute late and she thinks she was stood up. She's ready to leave when he arrives, asking if she's going somewhere. She comes up with an excuse and nervously sits down again. They start talking and getting to know each other. Kyle compliments her for going to a honeymoon resort by herself and allows Ava to talk about a big taboo for first dates, the ex. She tells him that she was left at the altar and decided to go on the honeymoon because it was non-refundable. Then, she goes on a tangent about Brett and how he broke up with her. She goes on and on, making Kyle uncomfortable, and whenever he tries to change the subject, she goes back to Brett. It's annoying and awkward, but Kyle is a cool guy. He understands that it may be hard for her to move on after almost getting married to the man. Ava thinks Brett already did, and that he's probably dating a bunch of women. It's the opposite. Brett is also sad and wants her back. He even sleeps with a picture of her. After dinner, when they are watching the stars and Ava can't stop talking about Brett, he calls her. She is confused at first, but then she freaks out and hands Kyle the phone to answer. He answers it and tells Brett that she's busy and can't answer it. Of course, Brett starts freaking out when he figures out Ava is with another man. After that, he quickly starts trying to find out where she is so he can go after her. Back to her date, Kyle gets more uncomfortable after the call. He thinks the whole situation is weird and Ava's mind isn't on the date. After Brett calls, all she can think about is why he called her and if she wants her back or not. Kyle keeps trying to take her mind off Brett, but it's fruitless. It's only when Ava notices that Kyle doesn't seem comfortable that she apologizes for her behavior. Kyle shrugs it off and they start their date for real. He explains to her that he decided to move away from the city to the island because life was too stressful. He offers to take her sightseeing, and she agrees with him. Overall, the date wasn't perfect, but they got to know each other a bit. The next morning, Ava tells Bonnie that she liked Kyle and that he was a gentleman. 
Bonnie also finds a man to hang out with, which leaves Ava with more spare time on her hands. Ava and Kyle meet again and he asks her to be his partner in a couple's game. She accepts and starts preparing their strategy. They have a lot of fun and win a couple's massage at the end, which Kyle proposes she does with her sister. He's trying to get in her good graces, and seems genuinely into her, despite knowing she's still hung up on her ex. After Kyle leaves her alone, Ava receives a surprise. Brett is there at the resort too. She's shocked when she sees him because she thought for sure that he would have moved on from her. Brett is there to win her over again, especially after seeing her with Kyle. He explains to her that he can't stop thinking about her and that he knows he made a mistake. Hearing Kyle on the phone was the push he needed to go after her to win her over again. Ava's still hurting over what he did to her, and she's not that willing to forgive and forget. When Brett tries to explain to her why he broke up with her, she says she doesn't want to know and leaves him. Ava's running away from her fear of failure, thinking that Brett is going to say that he broke up with her because of something she did. She prefers to believe that it's something related to him, not her. She can't admit to her mistakes, and can't see when she's wrong. Bonnie advises that she should listen to Brett because it could at least give her closure. Ava's conflicted and refuses to bend to Brett's will. What she doesn't know is that he's determined to get his girl back. Later on, he comes to her room with a bouquet and her favorite chocolate bar. He apologizes to her and admits he made a mistake in breaking up with her before talking to her. He invites her for a coffee so they could talk, but she says she has plans already. When he wonders if it's with Kyle, she doesn't confirm or deny it. Sometime later, Ava's at the pool and ends up falling asleep on the stretcher. Brett is watching her so he sees when she falls into the pool and doesn't emerge back. He quickly jumps into the pool and saves her. Kyle appears too, and he and Brett start posturing. Ava doesn't want to be part of their antics and leaves. Bonnie once again has to comfort Ava, and she decides her sister needs a spa day. A moment for her to relax and take her mind off Brett and Kyle. Meanwhile, Brett is depressed again at the beach when Kyle decides to poke fun at him. He tells him that he doesn't know why he broke up with Ava, that he must be crazy to let a woman like her go. Brett tells him it's complicated, but Kyle doesn't really know Ava and he thinks she's perfect. He challenges Brett to a competition at the beach, and after a lot of hard work, Brett wins a dinner for two at the resort's restaurant. Ava and Bonnie go to the spa and she can't take her mind off the men. Bonnie again advises her to hear Brett out and to be careful with Kyle, because he may be a womanizer. For the first time, Ava decides to go with her intuition, and her intuition says that Kyle is worth the risk. She also doesn't know if she can trust Brett again after the way he broke things off, right after proposing to her. It was humiliating, and she never wants to go through that again. Brett appears in her room sunburned, and Ava helps him apply lotion. While talking about their moments together, he invites her to dinner and she accepts it. Later on, Kyle also invites her on a weekend trip on his boat, and she tells him she will think about it. It's confusing to her, she doesn't know what to do or who she should choose. On one hand, she and Brett have a history, and she loves him despite the way he hurt her. As for Kyle, he's handsome and nice, and he represents a fresh start for her. She just doesn't know if she's willing to change her entire life for him. The time for her date with Brett arrives, and he's wearing a nice suit. She's impressed that he made an effort for her. The first thing they talk about is the reason why he broke up with her. He needs to get that out of the way so that they can try to fix things. Ava isn't happy to hear his reasoning. Brett explains that he found a note in her wedding folder with their whole lives, including their children's, planned. She had their children's names, what sports they were going to practice, what their occupation was going to be, everything. It was beyond creepy and scary to Brett, and along with the wedding planning, and the fact nothing he suggested was taken by her, made him freak out. He thought that his opinions didn't matter to her, that no matter what he said, she would always do what she wanted. It's a sound reason, but what makes Ava mad is that he could have talked to her about it before breaking up. That's what she can't accept. She tells him that she has the habit of planning things, but it doesn't mean that they are going to go exactly the way she planned. Brett disagrees. He knows she doesn't do anything unless it is the way she wants it. Ava gets mad at him and leaves. He goes after her, but she explains that he humiliated her. She also informs him that she's thinking about going on the trip with Kyle, and seeing where it leads her. Though he's jealous and upset, he lets her go. He doesn't want to make a bigger mess of things after that failure of a dinner. The next day, he goes to talk to Kyle. He tells him that no matter what happened between them, Ava is the most important person in his life. She was his first love, and he thought she was going to be the last. He threatens Kyle that if he hurts or disrespects Ava in any way, then he leaves. He meets Bonnie and vents to her about his situation. She's the voice of reason and explains that so far, Brett hasn't done anything of substance to make Ava see that he wants her back. He apologized and tried talking to her, but it wasn't enough. Not after what he made her go through. Brett has an idea after hearing about Bonnie, and thanks her. Ava also talks to Bonnie later on and tells her she's confused. Bonnie doesn't think going with Kyle on a trip is a good idea, not when Ava is still madly in love with Brett. It wouldn't be fair to Kyle either. At the same time, Ava wants to be spontaneous and let go of her control for a moment. 
That's why she thinks going on a trip with him would be a good idea. Brett approaches her and hands her a list. In it, there are things that he needs to do better, like learning how to communicate and sending an email explaining that the marriage fiasco was his fault, not hers. He adds that even if she goes on a trip with Kyle, he's still going to be waiting for her when she comes back. Brett shakes things up for Ava once again. She can't make up her mind. The day before she leaves with Kyle, Brett meets up with her and invites her to have dinner with him. She accepts. Before they go into the restaurant, Brett gives her a red rose corsage to symbolize the prom dance they never got to go to together. In the hotel's banquet hall, he made a fake prom dinner with a DJ playing cheesy songs and colorful lights. Ava is mesmerized, she can't believe Brett would do something like that. Brett asks her to dance and as they are dancing, he finally clears the air about the prom dance they never got to go to. He explains that the girl he went with was his cousin. His mother made him go with her, and before he could tell Ava, she broke up with him. Ava is shocked and asks why Brett never said anything, and he replies that he was afraid because she was so mad at him. He admits he has communication problems, and that he needs to do better. Ava also comes to terms that she's too proud and didn't get him the chance to explain himself. After clearing the air, Brett asks if they can start over. They don't need to go back to the way their relationship was, but they could get the pieces that were left and create something new. Ava is still a bit afraid of handing her heart to Brett again, but she understands she isn't guiltless. Before she gives him the answer, she tells him to wait and leaves. Brett immediately thinks that's the end for them, and even leaves the banquet hall to go have a beer in the bar. Ava goes after Kyle to tell him that she isn't going to go with him on that trip. He knows, from the look on her face, that he doesn't have a chance anymore. It was obvious by the way Ava and Brett loved each other, despite their differences. Kyle accepts it and wishes her the best with Brett. When Ava goes back to the bar and finds Brett drinking sadly at the bar, she tells him that she isn't going away with Kyle. She wants to be with Brett and start over. She wants to marry him the way they wanted to, this time with her being less controlling and him speaking up more. But first, Brett needs to propose again. As if he knew he was going to give the ring back to her, Brett takes it out of his pocket. He gets on his knees in front of the whole restaurant and proposes to Ava. She happily says yes. Nothing goes as planned, but everything ends well. Ava and Brett will pick up the pieces of their relationship and glue them back to a beautiful new picture.